Hey piggy people, I wanted to update you about Raisin. So this is Wednesday evening, Tuesday morning she was spayed. So she's in her own section here, just off from the herd. And she does have a lid. I kind of already guessed that she's going to be, that she was going to be a pig that was going to see about jumping. Just based on her history, she's one who would jump into hay bags, hay racks, and jump on top of cubes. And when she feels like she's cornered, she tries to jump. So good thing I had a lid because the first morning, like this morning when she was up and moving about, she was just looking everywhere to see where she could jump out. But anyway, she's in her own section for healing, so she needs two weeks to heal on her own. I have a heat mat underneath the fleece liner so it's super warm for her. So I got her home from the vets yesterday around, I think we picked her up for 4 4.30, so we got home about 5.30. Uh, she's been doing pretty decent uh, eating, as you can see she's eating right now. She's not eating like a ton by no means, maybe tonight she'll start eating a bunch more. So I've had to syringe feed her. And I have looked after a lot of pigs and she takes the absolute cake for being the most difficult patient I've ever had. So as you guys know, she doesn't like to be handled or touched and my goodness, it's a task and a half to get anything into her and be safe while doing so. I did the same trick as I did with Velvet. So over here are the foam tunnels. I'll place one of those in the cage and she'll go in it and then I carefully lift her up in that. And then I've had to use our little travel cage over there to put her in to hand feed her. Kind of have to block her in a corner and slip the syringe in to feed her. Because I tried to sit on the floor with her on a pad and she will not stay on your lap. She tries to jump off of you. It's insanity, so I don't want her to get hurt. I don't want to do any damage to her sutures, all of that stuff. So it's it's been trying, so I really look forward to her eating a bunch more on her own. She uh, was pooping pretty quick after she got home, which was really nice to see. And she's been pooping ever since. I haven't seen her drink water on her own yet, so that'll be nice to see that. Her cage is really simple. I do put a, the tunnel back in there for her to sleep in. It's just every once in a while I'll take it out to kind of force her to be up and kind of get moving. Because if she's just laying in the same spot, she's not pooping and she's not eating hay. So every once in a while I'll come down and take it out and, you know, get her to be up. She really does not like being in her own section, as I'm sure you can imagine. I did try putting pecan in here with her this morning just to give her some company while eating hay, but pecan was really snappy with her, so that didn't work. And then I tried to put Reese, who is probably Raisin's best friend, with her. Reese was fine at the start, and then all of a sudden once Reese realized that she was blocked in here and couldn't get back over, she started freaking out and pulling the bars and acting all crazy, so I took her out. So maybe once Raisin gets healed more, I can do like little hay parties and maybe everybody could kind of be in this section like supervised so that nobody's bumping anyone around just for some comfort and to get her used to it. Um, everybody's come over and said hi to her, so that was something that was important to me. I want everybody to know that she's still here, that she hasn't gone anywhere. So that's good. Uh, yeah, oh, and I guess I should say, when they did her spay, her ovaries were fine, but there was something in her uterus that was starting to grow, so that's obviously what was causing the bleeding and the blood clots, so it's a very good thing that we spayed her when we did, so that it didn't get bigger or nastier, so it was definitely worth spaying her, so I think overall... Everything's going pretty decent. It's really hard to check her incision because handling her is just a nightmare, as I've said. So I've tried really hard just to have her out, you know, all feet on the ground and then just gently trying to lift up her front end a little bit so I can peek under. 
and it's basically impossible so I've seen her sutures when she's you know lifting herself up looking at the bars or something like that and it looks normal to me it's not ideal like with all the other girls to check their incisions were super simple so yeah uh, I will be so happy when she's healed and can be going back with the herd. She's eating more right now. We just finished doing um, pain meds and hand feeding her. So hopefully these pain meds are really going to kick in. She had um, a pain injection after her spay. And then I gave her pain meds this morning and now we just did, as I said, the pain meds tonight. So hopefully they're getting in her system and she'll be comfortable. I really would just like to see her start drinking water and eating some pellets. That would be nice. Uh, so I think that's about it to update you guys on. So hopefully everything keeps going smoothly and I don't know that Raisin's going to ever get used to me handling her. Maybe we'll be best friends by the end of two weeks. And that's a joke. <laughs> okay, bye guys. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!